Hi, I'm just back from the Future and Roadmap Council's September meetings, which are kindly hosted by ST Ericsson at their offices in Paris. We had a lot of great discussion this month around the roadmap, uh, with a big focus, as you'd expect, on Symbian 3. Symbian 3 is really the big now release for Symbian, uh, with Nokia's N8 hitting the market this month and the announcement of other phones based on Symbian 3. It's big news for us, and there was a fair bit of discussion about how we should be telling the Symbian 3 story through the rest of this year, how we best highlight some of the key features that Symbian 3 is bringing to market. Of course, we looked beyond Symbian 3 as well, out further into the roadmap. There was a lot of discussion around Symbian 4 and that big next step in the Symbian story. Uh, we're looking there at development continuing this year. We're starting to look at more contributions coming in. And we're looking at how we tell that story through next year as we start to see Symbian 4 based devices getting into the market before next Christmas. We also had uh, some uh, more down-to-earth business matters to attend to at the Feature and Roadmap Council. Uh, we reviewed and accepted some contribution uh, proposals, including an entire video telephony contributed solution from Packet Video that we approved. We also started the review process on a Japanese text input system um, that's planned to be contributed by Omron Software in Japan. Uh, really, now that rounded off the September meetings and we're now looking forward to the next set of Feature and Roadmap Council face-to-faces, which will be in Amsterdam in November after the C2010 show. And that's all from me. Thanks for watching.